Damn, we're just gonna watch 05 bro. It's cool. Murder B, I paved the way for Nia Drew rap for girls. Call someone out for jacking her flow. Damn. She didn't even say my V's name or anything in title. What's the word? Let people know we got on 16 shot on visuals. God, bang, brother. Be in a spot. Don't make it fucking hot, you heard? Gangsta. Okay. <laughs> First thing I want to ask you is about your name and shit. Like, uh, how long you been going by that? And Murder B? Yeah, and what's I've like been the origin? I've been for a couple months, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, <laughs> people want to. A couple months? And then I love playing with me, bro. Like, they'll, like, comment my whole government under my <laughs> comments. So, like, people just don't respect the Murder B. But, like, like in the music industry, they call me murder. For me, outside they call me precious. My real name is Precious. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't even have known that if I didn't tell you. <laughs> God, shit, crazy out here. You ever be having uh, fans that be like knowing other little nicknames, or they be trying to yeah, say it like yeah, they know they you? Yeah, they be calling me Precious Murder all the time, or they be calling me Mariah. Mariah is my middle name. Like, how do you even know that? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I never posted that shit before. Like, that's just crazy. So, you know, uh, when it comes to, like, New York drill rappers and shit, especially, like, with the girls, but not even just with the girls in general, you know, your name get brought up now, not like, a lot, lot, you know. Yeah. Bro, the females, bro, they be coming for me now because, like, I think, like I said, I paid the way for, like, New York drill rapping now for girls because before I came into the scene, bitches wasn't really rapping other than, like, Shawnee Bonnie and Nate Benz, but, um... For me, they, they also from the Bronx, they also my friends. But um, they wasn't really rapping like that. And then like when I popped out, they was like, oh yeah, bitches is getting famous now. Let me go copy everything she doing. Like, Maya Vuitton, stop jacking my flow, bitch. When I see you, I'm gonna I'm a really violate you. Damn, you say she taking your flow? Yeah, bro, she sound exactly like me. She she dissed me on a beat that was made specifically for me. How? Damn. That shit sound like some dick sucking ass shit. Why Damn. she diss you though? Like y'all had smoke well, before she just her? from the app side. Uh. Mm -hmm. I get a shit. Oh, so like it'd be other girls from uh pop size that be yeah. coming into the drill rap scene and sucking my dick. Regular shit. Regular shit. Alright. Murder B claims claim she's the hottest rapper out the bro. Is that fact? So like when it comes to like the uh the op rappers and shit like that. Are there any other girls that's like lit like you type shit or like oh, really? you know um, got a name? Not as lit as me in the Bronx, I can say. Um, like I'm the littest female drill rapper in the Bronx right now. The only person who's like really on my level is Jen Carter. For sure. So how does it feel, you know, just in the fame, just in all the attention, especially at the Bronx getting? Because I was up on the the uh, Brooklyn drill scene at first, and then I start seeing like. A lot of the energy start going towards the Bronx. Yeah, man. um, we've been drill rapping. I'm not gonna lie, but like, um, honestly, like how I'm adjusting to it is, I feel regular as fuck. I always, I always say this in every interview. Like, I still feel regular as fuck. Like, <laughs> nothing has changed for me yet. Like, I just be chilling. Lord, that clip was literally a minute. Long ass outro. Gotta get paid, though, I guess. Please don't shoot. It was literally could have been a short. Okay. Murder B talks about running ops over in her. What the fuck? Murder B talks about running ops over in her car and says she'll be outside alone with no mask. Okay. Oh, God. So, do you ever like be going outside and motherfuckers be noticing you shit like that? Hell yeah, yo. I be going to the deli. They be giving me free shit sometimes. Um, Like. I don't know. I be just like walking around middle schoolers. They be peeping me, <laughs> little shit like that. I like it though. I'm not gonna lie. Do you still like go outside by yourself? Yeah, I don't care. Respectfully, I don't care. Nah, and I go 16 set her up for this. Outside with no ski, and I be in my car. So if if I try to, oh oh, that's murder B. I'm gonna run you over. Word of my dad. <laughs> Word of my dad. So don't even try that, because you're not going to go back to your block and be like, oh, yeah, Murder B ran me over. Gangster, you're not going to do that. Like, I'm going to run you over, and I'm dead ass. I'm not going to think <laughs> twice about it. Gangster. Yo, I'm glad I'm just doing them all in one sitting back to back. <laughs> nah, he be cutting these bitches down to minutes.
A minute interview is crazy. Murder B reveals she is from Massachusetts. Says her dad missed out on her childhood. Don't shoot! So, uh, let the people know where you grew up at. Um, I, um, I grew up in a mixture in between like the Bronx and Mass. That's why everybody be saying I'm from Massachusetts. They be calling me Murder Boston. Stop fucking calling me Murder Boston. I've never even been to Boston a day in my life. <laughs> Gangster. But I be getting confused, bro. I be I, I thought she was from Connecticut because I thought Connecticut, and Massachusetts. I knew they weren't the same thing, but damn, I be confused as fuck, bro. Like Rhode Island, Delaware, all them shits is the same thing, bro. All I know is Boston got the Celtics, and Connecticut. I don't, I don't even what they got. UConn. I only know because sports and shit. Gangster, but um, for me, oh, my pops is from um Lawrence, oh, Massachusetts, swear, and feel me. I used to just go back and forth, like, between summers and shit, and... Oh. So, I mean, yeah. Okay. So, people were saying that she just moved to the Bronx, like, a couple of years ago. But now she's saying that she was in both. Yeah, in the Bronx. So, uh, would you say, like, you got... Uh, did you have, like, both of your parents in your life growing up? Nah. Um, my dad wasn't present, but like I would visit his family in mass. Like they would take uh -huh. care of me. I didn't really meet my dad up until I was older. My son, for me, I got like fucking ten years, so I ain't really know who he was. I still, I can't really say that I still even know who he is now, cause you feel me, we not even that close. I just like as I got older, I kind of like fake resented him. For me, so I'm mad close to my mom though. Like that's like really my rock. I'm not gonna lie. So, how's it now though? Is that something like y'all working on or working towards, like to build a bond, or is it still like? Yeah, we we talk every day. He tell me good morning every day, little shit like that. But for me, it I'm already 18, so it's like you like I, he kind of like missed out on my childhood. So it's like there's not really much that we could like could just be cordial. That's my positive at the end of the day. But that's a fact. I already knew that was coming. All right. So this is the last one we got. Murder B. This is 14-year-old rapper that was fatally stabbed after getting into a brawl. So you know, I be listening to uh, your music and you be talking crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> how do your uh, people feel about that? Ah, everybody hates it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like my friends like it. Like people on the blog, it's little shit like that. They like it, but like the ops hate it. The ops hate it. For me, everybody hates the fact that I'm just a naughty and shit. The fucking naughty sexuals, the DD sexuals, they fucking hate that shit. But it's giving me views. I don't care if I'm using that little boy name. Fuck That's that little nigga. Gangster. So, you know, do you get any backlash for uh, disrespecting them, knowing like how young Hell you are? Hell yeah. I'm not gonna lie. There's a fucking murder be hate party going on right now. All I've been getting receiving for two weeks straight. She said, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about him. I'm getting views off of him, so I'm gonna keep doing it. That's basically what she said. That's crazy, bro. That she just acknowledged it and just ran with it. It's just hate. Like, hate, hate, hate. But. I hopefully that stops because when I first came out with my song, like introduction, it wasn't like that. Like I, I would get like minimal hate, but like now it's just fully hate. Like now they just sucking my dick now. Bro, it's just everything that drew up is go through. Kyle Rich did the same thing. When Bean came out and no one was on his ass, eventually people found out he went to college and that's all they talked about for three, four months. Feel me? End up beating them charges, coming back out. Well, not even coming back out, which is feel me everybody just was cool with it after a while after he explained everything that happened feel me it's gonna go away eventually it's what happened to every new artist that come out that has some type of flaws in them i'm not gonna lie i'm not jacking up but hopefully that switches around when i like switch it up a little bit so you know what uh caused you to uh start dissing them um well i've always had a crazy ass mouth like that that's just never like been that's Everybody who knows me knows that my face don't match my mouth. I'm always quick to tell a nigga to suck yeah, I'm on my the dick. Wrong side. So if I wouldn't say it to your face, Fuck I would not put it in my music. So if I say I'm smoking that nigga and I see you in person, I'm gonna say I'm smoking that nigga. It's just, it's just. Gangster. I don't really know how to explain it to be honest. I'm really on that. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, these one minute clips is crazy, bro. I probably just gotta wait until like five of the videos get uploaded and react to them all. 